An interesting visualization of the Consumer Price Index can be found on the website of the Federal Statistical Office of Germany. Link into the website and press Prices. Then link to the Price Kaleidoscope. And here we see the interactive price kaleidoscope. It tells us that the inflation rate in December 2010 was 1.7%. And in many national statistics offices, the consumer's price index is just presented as a single number. However, we know that the consumer price index is made up of various components. In this representation, the area for each of these sets of components is proportional to the percentage of the consumer price index that that accounts for. So housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels account for 30.8% of the consumer price index. We can also use this to look at the changes in various commodities. For example, let's look at the price change in vegetables. The price change here is not 1.7%, but 17.5%. And we can see that it differs for each of the food commodities. Highest for vegetables, fruit, negative for sugar, jam and honey. We can zoom back out and we can look around for other things that are negative. For example, package holidays. Also displayed is the weight. This is a very useful teaching tool so that people can see which are the components that are moving a lot in the consumer price index, but also what's their weighting. And those with high weights, of course, will affect the consumer price index more than those with low weights. For example here, vegetables have changed a lot in price but have a relatively low weight, whereas actual rentals paid by tenants have had a smaller price change but have a high weight, so have a bigger impact on the consumer price index. We can also find further information on the basket of goods and we can also link in to a personal inflation calculator. In this, you can put in your own expenditure patterns and determine your own price inflation calculator.